It's your turn to create an intro. Go ahead. Translated, that means welcome to our stupid reactions. I blame myself. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> but then uh, obviously with our first, our first introduction to anybody, the first impressions we get of them are pretty telling. I mean, we've been pretty accurate in terms of everybody we've seen that we've sensed instantly was a legend. Oh, legend. I was like, yeah. oh, Ran Vera. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm talking like... We got that one wrong. The moment we saw Sri Devi. Yeah. The moment we saw Amitabh Bakchan. Uh, the, the, the ones that have been around a long the time. Way, yeah, we yeah. completely missed Ranveer when we saw Gully Boy. We didn't know what the heck we were doing because we didn't know him. He's fine. Um, yeah, guy did a very solid job. Um, hold on, hold nothing on. Nothing to write on. home about. Which one was that? Uh, 1957. 57. Okay, but if that's not the one we're supposed to watch, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, and, but it's, uh, it's really nice. Um, you know, shot in Technicolor. There were some other things about it that I thought were really, really nice. And I know that this film, we do know this about the film, based on Stupid Baby comments on the Bollywood book, that, that this movie is, is at the top of the list of important films of what's come out of India uh -huh. from its inception. It's, the melodra it's a melodrama about a poverty-stricken woman who raises her sons through many trials and tribulations, but no matter the struggles, always sticks to her own moral code. Bring it on. So it's about a powerful woman, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, Clearly, who won't. Her be... name is Nagaris, or yeah, or Nargis. Nargis. Yes, Nargis. Sorry. Nargis. Uh, uh, she did. I don't. And recognize. clearly, I mean, the poster for that was her with the yoke carrying. Is that what it's called? Yoking. Yeah, the yoke. Oxen use yoke, and there's different kinds of yoke. I've never seen that kind of yoke, but the more Western version of the yoke, or even some of the Eastern style of yokes, like in Israel that you can have a single yoke for an oxen or you can do a double yoke for oxen and they're usually kind of curved mm -hmm. with an actual arch in the middle for the shape to hold onto the neck of the of the ox. Mm. Um, but that clearly was not, I don't know how that one is used, but that she was replacing the ox. In other words, I, my guess is it was, even though she lost the main thing that was gonna be her breadwinner for her, which is her ox, she wasn't gonna give up and she, you know, by Jingo, I'll do what the ox does. I'm not going to be stopped. Um, and I love the connection to the to the earth. I'm sure that has huge symbolism. And so this this, this, is about this the, lady, the, the female, uh, the actress, who I'm sure is a legend, was born on June 1st, 1929, as Fatima Rashid in Warupindi, British India, daughter to Jadanbai and At Atumchand Mohanchand, a former Hindu, Moyal Brahmin who converted to Islam as Abdul Rashid. Her mother was a well-known dancer, singer, actor, composer, and director, and that's what paved the way for Fatima to become a child artiste, baby Nargis. Ah, so child actor, as early as 1935, she's the sister of Bollywood actor Anwar Hussain and Akhtar Hussain. Mm. Nargis and Bollywood megastar Raj Kapoor formed a, a real romantic Raj couple. Kapoor. Yeah, but it's well known that they had an off-screen romance and intimate relationship as well. Raj, who was already married to Krishna, refused to divorce his wife. I remember this story. Mm. After playing the mother of Sunil Dutt, a Mole Brahmin also from Julam, British India, in the movie Mother India, she subsequently married him on 11 March 58. She has okay. three children from the Dutt marriage. Wow. So yeah, she is a legend. A legend. And Clearly, and her screen has presence family is of. Uh, People in the industry as well. That, that 8x10 of hers that's black and white is reminiscent, at first glance it was reminiscent of Anne Bancroft. Oh yeah? Yep. Do you like Anne Bancroft? I love Anne Bancroft. Great actress. What's your favorite song by Anne Bancroft? She didn't do music. <laughs> she was married to Mel Brooks and she played uh, Annie Sullivan <coughs> in The Miracle Worker. So let, uh, let us know how this film, I mean I know we know it's prowess basically. It's, it's a legend. It's, one of the greatest and most important films in Indian history. Uh, but, uh, like, whereas in terms of classics we need to react to. I mean, yeah. I know uh, this one right here is high on the list. Dwar of classics. Yeah. Uh, and I know there's a lot more. Um, what are some of the other ones? that uh, Mother India. Then there's obviously the... Uh, then the Apu trilogy. And the oh, trilogy. I can't wait for that. There's so many, obviously, we need to get to, but... Um, let us know like other stuff we need to react to and, and more information behind this because that actually looked really good. The songs were good. Yeah, I was I really was I was presently surprised. And I know the quality if we watch a film will be better. It always is. For some reason, the quality is way lower on these like trailer type things. Because like the Cholet one was the same well, way. Yeah, it was, it was better. Um, so let, let us know, please. <laughs>